Hello YouTube, it's Oliver Nance here and um, of course I'm posting this video because uh, I want to show you something, of course. <laughs> Not just a random announcement thingy. Um, basically, if you remember, um, in, oh gosh, about four videos, I think it is, four videos ago now. Something like my last book haul video, I think it was. Pretty sure. I can't remember what was in my other videos and I posted two songs and one didn't load up because YouTube deleted it and um, two book videos recently but I can't remember if one was a review which is pretty bad of me but anyway um, if you remember in my latest book haul video uh, I showed you two books that were crushed under university prospectuses and I said their spines are curved they're being crushed um, as you all know my sister said oh yeah to get a straight spine just Put it under a load of weights. So um, I've waited about nearly a month now for this to, to get to finally get hold of them crypt. Um, I will show you the cover. You'll see why I said it's very morbid. Um, so I was actually really impressed. It could have done with a bit longer, I guess. The thing is slightly bent, but look at that. And the spine was cut. It was really curved is perfect I really love it so yeah thanks Celia for that <laughs> as you can see the cover I have no idea why I like this cover I don't know it's got a skull on it I don't know what it is about this cover but I like it and it kind of feels nice um I should stop stroking it now Aside from that, exams are over, meaning book review, I'm going to put it up to tomorrow probably because the rest of my family will be out and I can be an idiot. They're going out on some mammoth walk with a few friends and they're coming right here and we're all going to be idiots. And my dad's going to get drunk. <laughs> um, apart from that, um, today I, I was on study leave but seeing as I had no exams because I finished it yesterday. I tidied my room. Took me about two to three hours to do. Um, I like to keep things tidy, very tidy. Um, basically, beforehand, my room, my class is untidy. I think most people would say, "Oh, this is actually really tidy." I didn't class as tidy. I, I class it as like untidy. Um, so yeah. I don't know whether some people would say, "Oh, that's actually untidy," um, but for some bizarre reason. Somehow, I'm really just one of my friends because somehow she keeps her room tidy all the time. And I'm like, oh, how do you do that? Um, then again, I think she puts her clothes away straight away. I tend to be a bit lazy and not do that. But anyway, my room is looking fabulous. It just needs vacuuming. University prospectus is to sit outside. And I've got a few sheets of paper to sort out. Apart from that, looking really good. I would show my room to you, but it's awkward moving a laptop. I did try, that; it was really awkward. And, um, well, I'm no good at editing videos, so, um, I would, I have no idea how to put one video connected to another from my camera. That's how well educated and ICT I am. Um, so apart from that, really looking good. It's just slightly depressing, as I got all my, uh, revision notes still pinned up I'm keeping them up until the 8th of March which is results day I'm dreading it also um, I will give you a fair advance warning notice 8th of March means basically I will start revising again um, for my summer exams I like to be early and basically I think once I get my results I'm going to retake what ones I need to retake I really don't want to have to retake but I might so yeah and then I can just start revising all of that and I should have got most of the work the, the stuff learned um, by then aside from that there's nothing else really that I need to say um, aside from uh, uh, I should be getting a library hall book video up if the library's got my books I reserved in by Sunday um, and uh, I'm going to be going to Norwich um, on when is it oh yeah half term Thursday 
which is the third week of February, so I will have a few books to show you when I get back from that. I have my £15 um, national gift token to spend. Yay! Um, so yeah, I really, really can't wait for that, and I'm going with a friend who is like me is a book addict um, so we're probably going to spend all our time in waterstones and this little nice shop called Angels which is a gemstones shop um, where they I'll show you the things they gave me it's really cool not gave me I bought shops do not give away stuff for free unless it's a promotional freebie uh, but basically um, Angels does a whole load of things they do little I've got it here oh there we are uh, Something you can just buy little like rough gemstones. Um, I've got this. Where are we? Got dust on it. Fresh water pearl. Don't think. No, that one hasn't got a hole drilled on it. That's just a fresh water pearl. And uh, there's a way you can tell whether a pearl is real or not. I think it's if you rub it against your teeth and uh, one is meant to be smooth, but if. It will either be smooth or gritty, and I can't remember which one it is. But see, is it is it if it's smooth, it's a real pearl, and if it's gritty, it's fake. I can't remember, but there is a way to tell. Um, which of us rubbing it? I just can't remember whether it's smooth, it's um, a real pearl or not. The other piece um, I've got from Angels is uh, this. It's a piece of coral. It's very nice. It has got a hole drilled in it. I've never worn it. It just sits in this little tray thing I've got. Um, my other three things I've mainly got from Angels aside from this picture with a dragon on it, which I cannot be bothered to get out because it's in my wardrobe and that my um, cupboard wardrobe thingy. Um, other three things I've got from Angels is this. This is Cat Eye. This gemstone. It's a couple of as you can see it's an elephant. So yeah, I love cat eye because look at that, it, basically it's very iridescent, it goes from orange and yellow to purple and blue and I think it's green thrown in. It's kind of like a rainbow type stone, it's very unique. And um, if you look at it in the right angle, it's actually translucent, transparent kind of thing. So yeah, it can be both opaque and translucent. So cat eye, really awesome jewel, gemstone. The other things I've got from uh, Angels was this. I cannot remember what gemstone this is, um, but it's a dolphin, as you can see. What the heck has happened to it there? I never noticed that. No, that's just something. It just. I don't know. No, you probably can't see that actually. Maybe you can. Basically, there's this massive mark running, which is obviously the gemstone massive mark running up its side of its head and basically looks like something's gone weird with the eye. <laughs> Sides are pretty funny on that, I never noticed that before. The other thing I got was this cute little, uh, well not cute but you know just nice, um, little, I think this is meant to be jade, I cannot remember, and it's a jade dragon, so yeah. I shall be getting another little animal when I go and I think these cost £5 and then the bigger ones cost about £10-£15 depending on size and stuff. But yeah, that is, um, that's Angels, it's a very cool place, I love it, and it smells of incense, <laughs> so, um, and also I'll be going to Kaylee's, she's a chocolate, um, cafe, <laughs> it's brilliant, they, they serve everything with chocolate, um, I ordered this banana milkshake from there, and it came with a bit of, it came with a banana that had been dipped in chocolate and then frozen, it's delicious, and you can get, like, chocolate fondue and the chocolate biscuit fondue, so you get fruit, a marshmallow fondue or a biscuit fondue. I've had both. They're both delicious. So yeah, and uh, their hot chocolate's very nice. Tons of cream, and I remember their tea cakes are massive. So cannot wait to go to Kaylee's. Just cannot wait to go to Norwich. So it's gonna be so nice. <laughs> nice treat <laughs> after exams. <laughs> so yeah, I will be bringing back a few books from there. Another crazy stuff. Um, oh god. I did film a video, but I deleted it, I didn't upload it because I thought it was a bit weird. Um, and I don't think he's been in a video before, but I really want to introduce him to you. Um, he's adorable. Okay, so basically, um, 
for Christmas, this is quite late though, <laughs> for Christmas I got a little of stuff, but one of my favourite presents was uh, this. Isn't it so adorable? <laughs> it's, um, oh, I've put the uh, badge that came with it up on my um, pin board. I don't want to take it down now. But he's called Ollie the Little Wise Owl. And he's handmade, he's got vintage wool, like body and stomach and stuff, and then he's filled with eco-friendly corn fibre. So it's obviously environmentally friendly thingy. But anyway, he's really cute, and I just love him, and I just wanted to show him to you. Um, in, case you want, in case you want one of these, uh, it's made by One Little Sparrow. And um, I will tell you the contact, but I'll put the details in the description. The contact is Charmaine Goods, and the email is uh, c.goods at hotmail.com. So, presumably, you can just email her and say, I would like a little Ollie, li Ollie the Wise Little Owl. It's very, very cool. And did I show this to you? Because I found it on the floor the other day. And I can't remember if I've showed it in my bookmark collection. If I did, you may um tell me off. Anyway, um yeah, this is the other one I was talking about, my bookworm. It's a uh, earth worm. Woo! And it's fact is planet Earth takes one year to go around the sun. Could you think of something a bit more interesting? Or planet Earth? You know, they all have facts on them. And they just have to pick that. So I do think having an earthworm is pretty cool. If I remember rightly, these are quite unusual to get. You know, you you never saw anybody with an earthworm bookmark. So I was like, I have an earthworm bookmark. Doesn't matter if it's got a really rubbishy fact. I have an earthworm bookmark. So anyway, yeah. Uh, that is basically it. So it's bye bye from me and Ollie. Okay, so bye. Ugh, sorry. I thought I heard something.